Have you ever heard of grieving the Holy Spirit? In this video, we're going to discuss grieving the Holy Spirit versus blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Let's get started. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Jesus, given to those who obey God by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. Whoever has my commandments, Jesus said, and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. The helper Jesus promised us is the Holy Spirit, and he is given to stand alongside us and assist us in living for God in this world. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of grace, and he teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people who are his own possession, who are zealous for good works. The Holy Spirit is a distinct divine person, who comes to live in us after we have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. His task is to lead us and transform us from the likeness of Adam, our father according to the flesh, into the likeness of God, our father according to the Spirit. Since the Holy Spirit is a person and not just a power, energy, or force, he possesses the attributes of personhood. Among them are these. He can be lied to, he can be blasphemed, he can be resisted, he can be outraged, and he can be grieved. Grieving the Holy Spirit means to make him feel deep sorrow and to cause him mental pain or distress. We are warned in the scripture in Ephesians 4.30, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. How does one grieve the Holy Spirit? We grieve the Holy Spirit by not listening to him when he tries to lead us and warn us against ungodliness. We grieve the Holy Spirit when we willfully choose to ignore him and fulfill the desires of our flesh instead of the desires of God for us. Many people mistake grieving the Holy Spirit for blaspheming the Holy Spirit, but they're not the same thing. Grieving the Holy Spirit is something we make the Holy Spirit feel as a result of our actions or inaction. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit is something we say out loud about the Holy Spirit that misidentifies him and his work as the work of Satan or the devil instead of God. The reason Scripture warns us not to grieve the Holy Spirit is because it is those who are led by the Spirit of God who are the sons of God. When we grieve the Holy Spirit, we are not growing up in our salvation now that we've tasted that the Lord is good. If we continue grieving the Holy Spirit, continuing to willfully sin after we receive the knowledge of the truth, we risk outraging the Holy Spirit and being condemned like the unprofitable servant that Jesus talked about in one of his parables. If you want to learn more about how not to grieve the Holy Spirit, watch this video next.